one calm night when the waters were clear and the tide was neither high nor low, the moon was full and all the corals of Coralville were getting ready for a big event. That night, the Staghorn family were planning to see off their children on a journey into the big blue. Looking out into the night from her home, little Ellie was one such child who was especially nervous. Ellie felt helpless as a little egg and wished she was brave and strong, like her elder Staghorn. All right, children, time to be on your way, said Elder Staghorn. One, two, three. Off Ellie flew into the big blue with her brothers and sisters, looking like hundreds and thousands. At first she was scared and didn't know where she was going. Ellie drifted one way and then another, until BAM! Something knocked into her, sending her sprawling through the water. Ellie spun round and round. Her head felt dizzy and her vision blurred. Was she one or was she many? Her stomach lurched and she felt a change. Finally, her vision cleared. In her new form, Ellie felt herself lift to the surface of the sea. There, Ellie floated with the tide for what seemed like days, staring up at the sky. Ellie had never seen the sky before. It was beautiful. The stars reminded her of her siblings, lost somewhere amongst the endless sea. Eventually, Ellie felt it was time to go. Slowly, she began to fall down, down, down all the way to the sea floor. There, Ellie found a rocky patch and, exhausted from her travels, went to sleep. While she slept, Ellie dreamt that she was changing once again. When she woke, Ellie found that she was not alone. Someone was sitting beside her. In fact, Many someones had joined her on the rocky ledge. Ellie realised she had multiplied in her sleep. She was growing into a real coral, just like her elder staghorn. Ellie knew many challenges still lay ahead, but for now she was home and would enjoy every moment.